Hello friends, welcome to D&D Construction. So today we will discuss friends, accessories used in my one form work. Whatever the different accessories we are using during form work setting. So we will discuss one by one. So friends, let's start. First is pin and wedge. It is the joining component of all other wall components. The aluminium form work pin and wedge system is simple and fast, allowing unskilled labor to be quickly trained in use of equipment. As you can see, this is our wedge and these are the pin. This is short pin and this is long pin. We are using as per requirement as this is the arrangement of pin wedge and this is fixed bolt components. As you can see, this is wedge and this is pin. We fixed wall panels by using this pin wedge system. My one fittings. Friends, these are the fittings. This we call as dying tie nut or wing nut. This is dying pin and this is dying rod or tie rod. This as you can see in this photo. This is 20 mm tie rod. This holds this wellers and supports the wall panels. As this tie rod is fixed with by using this wing nut. And these wellers are 100 by 50 by 2.3 mm thickness. As these are two wellers pi square pipes are used that is why 100 mm. And this is tie rod with pin. This this is how in this here pin is there. So this is how this tie rod with pin we are using on site. Now next is wellers. Wellers are made up of 50 mm by 50 mm square pipe. And as you can see shear wall columns exceeding thickness when the flat wall tie can no longer be used form work will need secured. Wellers used to assist alignment purposes are fabricated from 75 50 by 2.3 mm thickness of steel secured using dying pin or tie rod with the help of this tie nut or wing nut. As you can see this arrangement this is our square pipes as you can see this is our square pipe and this is our tie rod and this is our wing nut if we see the cross section as this is our co concrete this is our panels this top wellers as you can see this is top wellers and this, this is how our tie rod is fixed and this tight this arrangement by using this wing nut next is kicker bolt kicker bolt friends it is very important it is anchored in concrete and act as ledge for the wall panels on the next floor to sit on it also forms the wall face at the top of the wall panel as you can see this is kicker first i will tell you this is actually the kicker these are the kickers kicker bolts this as you can see this arrangement is kicker bolt kicker is basically a starter which keeps the wall and component in position and does not allow it for movement this act as this kicker is embedded in concrete anchored in concrete and act as the starter fixed so this is our kicker bolt in this 16 mm by 80 mm mild steel bolt this bolt is reusable item then this we are using washer 16 mm mild steel and hexagonal nut is used as you can see this is hexagonal nut and this pvc cone is used and start as you can see this is pvc cone this is the actual arrangement of kicker bolt as you can see this is kicker bolt hope so friends you understood the kicker bolt arrangements as you can see this is kicker bolt this is m16 mm bolt 16 mm bolt in this 
at start phase we are using this hexagonal nut and in this we are covered with this pvc pipe and one pvc cone is used in end of the this bolt next is our tie puller this tie pullers then wall ties are there so to remove this wall ties we use this tool tie puller this is panel puller this panel puller is when the panels are there this panels this panels are removed by using this panel puller poger poger is actually to assist on aligning the holes to allow ease on installation of the pin whatever the pin widths we are using in wall panels we adjust that pin by using this poger this tool by using this tool now next is transfer box friends transfer box is keep opening in slab for lifting the my one material this is the arrangement this this is slab so this we keep transfer box to lift the my one materials from below floor this below floor to upper floors to transfer the materials to lift the materials whatever my one materials transfer box arrangement is there and this here holes are there so we are using we fixed this transfer box in deck panels beam kicker strap used as a means of ensuring exposed nails of adjoining formwork components are aligned as you can see these are the kicker strap this is strip kicker strip this joining as you can see this is kicker so two different kickers are joined and fixed with this beam kicker strap and this strap is fixed with this pin wedge this will make fixed the kickers as you can see wall ties pe sleeves and polythene tubing as you can see this is wall ties different different length of wall ties are available as per requirement as per the wall thickness and this wall ties is tube this consumable polythene tube is used and this pv pe sleeve required can be used at least minimum four times this arrangement as this is the arrangement this is how before use the wall tie this is how we have to prepare in this way wall tie prior to fixing in place as you can see these are the wall ties as you can see this is the shear wall in this wall tie different wall ties are used as this and in this grease is provided so easily this wall tie can be removed after use and wall panels are removed easily drop frame for making sunken slab these are the drop frames on slab if we have to make sunk in slab so we are using drop frames in this cross bracing for means of positioning and support these are the cross bracing to support this drop frames and vertical legs are used support means of supporting drop frame as i will show you this is our vertical leg and this is our building spacer attached to drop frame as this is the arrangement as you can see this is our drop frame this is our bs building spacer cross bracing and this is our vertical leg this vertical leg is removed while during concreting vertical soldiers vertical soldiers fabricated from 50 mm by 50 mm square pipes with 2.3 mm thickness used for controlling of alignment at slab level as throw rod for bolting up of vertical soldiers to control alignment of formwork as you can see these are the vertical for vertical soldiers and hole is provided for tie rod as this type of tie rod we are using on site this is our vertical soldiers this is how arrangement is there with by using this tie rod we fix this vertical 
soldiers to align these edges or outer of my one and you can see this is arrangement 20 mm hole is provided for tie rod as you can see this is by using wing nut with tight and this is how vertical soldiers are provided this is our cross section wall mounted bracket with vertical post as you can see these are the wall mounted brackets this is 900 in width this is provided for working platform outer working platform as you can see this is our wall mounted bracket as you can see this is our and this is our vertical post this is generally 900 mm wide working platform in this this by using tie rod we fixed this vertical with this bracket in concrete this and these are the arrangement of this bracket slab mounted bracket this is also if wall mounted bracket is practically not possible then slab mounted brackets are used as you can see this is the arrangement to fix this slab mounted bracket we fix by using this tie rod in RCC structure and with these are the vertical post this vertical post are used for safety net to fix this safety net as you can see this is our wall mounted slab mounted brackets this is the arrangement this this is our rcc slab in this this is box pipe section 75 by 50 mm by 2.3 mm thick section so this section is fixed by using this tie rod this tie rod and this is vertical post this makes working platform for labors and for movement so thank you so much friends for watching this video hope so you understood all the accessories used in my one form work technology so friends if you like this video then please share with your friends and subscribe my youtube channel dnd construction so bye bye friends till now take care